Hey everyone, we hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exciting news to share with you all in today's video. Many of the racers involved themselves in the entertainment industry while being on the sports field through street outlaws. They not only gained the name but also added some amounts to their net worth by their appearance in the show. The racing world has a huge fan following, so here we have prepared a video for those passionate fans of street outlaws. We gonna talk about Tyler Friday, also known as Flip's personal life and his career. Tyler Jean Flip Friday was born on 30 November 1981 in Sikaska, Oklahoma, USA. He is known for his appearance in the show's first season. He had made a remarkable contribution in the racing world, but his untimely demise made the fans heartbroken. Even years after his death, his memory is kept alive. He had collected a significant amount to his net worth with $500,000 from racing and television. Speaking about his early life, Sleep attended Vietnam City High School. He became friends with Justin Big Save Searer when they were both kids. After matriculating, he started working as a storekeeper and during this time, he developed a love for promotes for cars and also wanted to find a career as a drag racer. He worked on the construction equipment company Warren Caterpillar for 10 years. He built his car called the El Camino, a 1980 Chevy rebuilt and modified through parts stolen, borrowed or begged for. Many of the racers denied working for street outlaws as it was based on illegal nature. Due to the many racers vying for a camera spot, Flip had to prove himself by becoming one of the top racers in the area. Also, the fact that he was a close friend of many of the show's cast members was a plus point. He was an integral part of season 1. He was always seen with beer or a cigarette in one hand. But it is sad to know that this TV personality died just before the first season premiere. His family, crew member and street outlaws refused to disclose his death or the cause of it immediately. He passed at the age of 31 years. The reason behind his death leads to a lot of speculation. However, the most widespread theory was that he committed suicide while other rumors say that he died of depression. But none of the rumors is confirmed. His wife made a statement about his death after weeks. The public discovered his passing that hinted he passed away through suicide. He used to survive by his wife Morgan Amber Friday and their four children and by his brother and parents. His wife has tattoos of their children on her body and after his death, she added a skull and wings tattoo in the memory of her late husband. Flip's gravestone has a printed image of each El Camino. After his death, Big Sef stored the car and later he decided to have one of his racers adopt the car. The car was upgraded and renamed Elko. The car under a new owner continued to perform well and is still a regular feature of street outlaws. Even after Flip's death, the car remains as the memory of the owner and tribute to one of the pioneers of the show. The car is maintained the same physical looking after upgrading it. Many of the old parts are replaced and upgraded. This also includes recent technology. Even after 8 years of Flip's death, the world of racing remembers him. His name will always be remembered in racing history. Thank you for checking this video out. 
We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and do subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We will make sure to reply your comments.